reached 1,015 dentists from 84 countries in an online survey. Participants answered 25 questions, such as when they started with the implants, how they prepared, and what challenges they faced, etc. Based on professional demographics like age, time in practice, and type of training, we found five large clusters. Cluster one: senior private GP, typically older than 45, in private general practice for more than 10 years, and started with implants more than 10 years after graduation. Cluster two. Postgraduate trained private GP, typically aged 30 to 45, in private general practice for more than 10 years, having completed postgraduate training and placed their first implant six to 10 years after graduation. Cluster three, young private GP, aged 25 to 35, in private practice for three to nine years, typically without postgraduate qualifications and having placed their first implant three to five years after graduation. Cluster four: Young postgraduate specialist, aged 30 to 35, in specialty practice in university or hospital settings for three to nine years, having placed their first implant within five years after graduation. And cluster five: Recent graduates, typically aged 25 to 35, with up to three years in general practice, no postgraduate training, and having placed their first implant within two years after graduation. So what's our main findings? The older clusters, cluster one to three, place their first implants outside the university. Cluster four specialists were the only ones who started mainly in university settings, while cluster five dentists were equally likely to have started within or outside university environment. Senior practitioners typically started with implant in non-university settings. Felt better prepared, but started implant dentistry after many years of clinical experience. In contrast, recent graduates felt less prepared for implant dentistry, but started implants within two years of graduation. Globally, this trend was more common in Asia and Africa. Surprisingly, recent graduates reported fewer complications such as improper implant positioning as compared to postgraduate trained dentists. What can we conclude? Time in practice is irreplaceable. Master dentistry first, then start implants. Structured education in university settings is strongly recommended by those who have acquired the implant skills in the pathway. A key message: there is an evident lack of university education pathways other than full-time specialist training or master's degrees.